so this is anchor's latest and greatest charger it's the anchor 737 and there are two versions of it a 65 watt version and 120 watt version of course the 65 of course you don't get 65 watt or 120 watt on both at the same time so what i mean is the usb a you'll only get 22 watts but the usb c you'll get 120 watt but if both the usb c's are being used of course you won't get 120 watt because the maximum limit is 120 watt basically what happens is the power will be split so yeah let's just real quick unbox this of course this is gn and this is the cd7 so yeah gn is better than silicon because it's more efficient this thing is kind of expensive for a charger but yeah got a seed on the back not only is this GAN this thing also has the anchor power IQ 4.0 so it's basically anchors premium charging features on one charge okay yeah, exactly what you expect user manual um yeah there's no need of a user manual you know what to do put it plug it charge it most 120 watt charges are way bigger than this so it's nice the fact that you know because it's ga and stuff it's nice and small this thing will be able you would be able to charge laptops and phones so it's not just phones both laptops and phones and tablets and pretty much everything that's below 100 megahertz. What I don't like though is this. You saw that? Finger marks. So when you're taking the charger out or in, you would see the finger marks. But yeah, let's just real quick peel this off. You and there USB C USB C USB A and the USB C is IQ4 that not the USB A yeah that's pretty much it this is kinda bulky but not as bulky as like a laptop charger so let me just real quick try this out uh, by the way this thing has dynamic power distribution so basically you know checks how much watt each device needs and then casually changes it for example a laptop would need more than a phone so yeah they ch it will change okay so this is the gn charger from me and this is the laptop charger that i got with this laptop yeah definitely smaller this is slightly heavier but yeah this thing is 65 volt this thing can output up to 120 volt and this is the phone charger I use. This is lighter, but this is better. This is also GA. If you want to check out that video, I'll link it in the description. Okay, I've actually noticed something. Laptop charger USB A ports, not laptop charger. I meant laptop USB A ports have the plastic bit on the top, while normal while chargers have it on the bottom. Same with this one. Kind of weird. I don't know why. But yeah, that's how it is. And by the way, if you're afraid to use really high watt chargers on your phone, it's fine. It's a popular brand and it's not a sketchy brand. Like one of those brands that say charging your phone in half a minute. But if it, then you might want to be cautious about it. But chargers like these, it's fine. The phone will last for 10 how much ever watt it needs this thing will only give you that that amount of watts so yeah, let's just plug it in to the laptop 
and of course cable is not included okay so it's charging as you can see now let me just real quick use a phone and check how much water it's taking in getting around 19,684 milliwatt that's 19 watt oh 18 watts wow Okay, I think maybe it's just uh, the starting point. Oh, yeah, we are getting quite good charge. Thanks. Because before, we got like 3 watts or something like that. So, yeah, everything's going good. Bye.